A man who used a chainsaw to fight off an attacking mountain lion. Dustin Britton was camping in Wyoming with his wife and two toddlers. The ex-Marine alone cutting firewood about 100 feet from his campsite when he saw the beast staring at him through the brush. And then it charged. And Justin joins us this morning from Thermopolis, Wyoming, to tell us what happens next. Good morning. Good morning. So how big are we talking? Uh, 100 pounds? Uh, well, 200? of course, it seemed really big to me. It, it seemed plenty big to me, but it, <laughs> I guess I was told it weighed 100 pounds. Okay. And uh, you're cutting wood. The noise of the saw obviously didn't, didn't scare it off. What happened next? Uh, I just, within seconds, I, I see this, this lion over 20 feet from me just standing there looking at me. I could see about just its head there in the grass, and of course it scared the pants off me. I, I ran backwards and uh, doubled the distance between me and it, and I was kind of in a clearing, and I couldn't believe that it wasn't afraid of me, or the saw especially. Um, and I just kept revving that chainsaw and watching it, and for probably three seconds it just watched me, and then it slowly it came out of the, the brush and out into the open, and then it, it just charged right at me and, and uh, lunged at me, I guess you'd say. It, it leapt right up, it, it came right up to eye level, and. Um, right as it did, I had that saw running and I just bared down on it. Um, my goal was to, to, to fend it off. That was the only weapon I had. So, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of, a whole lot of choice there. It was me or that lion. So the, so the thing is, uh, literally in the air, it's going for you. What, what happens next? Did it knock you off balance? It, it pushed me back a few steps. You know, I was kind of in a, in a stance where I was ready for a, an impact of some sort. Um, you know, real just kind of muscle memory thing from my training in the Marines, it seemed like later in thought that that's exactly what my body did. And, right. and yeah, it, as, it, as it came up, I brought the saw up. And so it batted my, my arms and uh, the saw uh, three or four times. And then um, I hit it as hard as I could with that saw at full throttle, uh, trying to hit it in the neck, of course. And yeah. it, it, it just down it went um, and it left. It didn't leave in a big hurry, but it, it, it left. And then I was, I was pretty scared. Did you get bit? Are you, um, do you have a wound at all? Oh, it's almost healed now. I have a tiny little puncture little on my puncture. forearm is all I, all I got. An amazing yep. thing yep. to show for something like that. And I have to ask you, two toddlers were 100 feet away. What was going through your mind while this was happening in terms of them? Well, of course I, yeah, of course I wanted to, uh, to get to them. You know, they were, they were my, my number one priority. Once I knew I was safe was to get back there and make sure that they weren't in danger. Right. Um, so I immediately went back to the campsite and got them inside of the camper and got the dog inside of the car and we just we just tried to stay inside that camper as much as possible the rest of the evening. Well, it is a happy ending to an amazing story. Uh, congratulations. Enjoy the rest of your vacation, Dustin. Thanks for getting up and sharing Thanks, it I with will. us. All right. They sure. think that maybe the lion was starving. This is so rare this occurrence. We'll have much